Hey, what's up guys? It's Pixelated Apollo and thanks for stopping by. Welcome to this brand new video series here. It's a hot seat campaign for the Iberian Peninsula. I will be fighting three other YouTubers to conquer this beautiful peninsula. Over here we have the Moors, commanded by Captain Invisible. Very wealthy people. And next to me, right next to me, we have Spain, commanded by Naze Bays. So he is my neighbor. And way over here, we have France, commanded by Swissman15. So this is certainly going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really excited to, uh, to play this. Now, it, there are set rules for this hot seat campaign. If you look in the description, uh, you'll see all the rules. I have a link to the rules. The rules were created by Legend of Total War. He's a YouTuber who plays a lot of hot seats, and he, he, came, up some he came up with some really good rules that really favors the aggressive players that way you're not just sitting back in your castle defending so you can check out the rules and see uh how this hot seat works of course i have all the other youtubers channels in the description so you can see their point of view of this hot seat campaign and yeah i've got an hour to play this episode or this turn excuse me uh every turn you have an hour to play i know that seems like a lot right now but once the game starts to really get going, uh, an hour is going to be really short. So right now, I'm just going to worry about my two cities. I only have two cities, so it's not like there's much to see here. But I definitely want a solid economy, but I also want a good mix of, of military buildings. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my strategy here. I will destroy the Moors. I'm going to ally with Spain. He is right next to me, so I want him on good terms. And then we are going to attack the Moorish people and take them out and not worry about them ever again. But I have a prince princess over here, and I'm going to try to find Spain. I don't, I'm not sure where his cities are. I think he's more over here. Uh, I'm not sure. But I have, an, I have a pretty, pretty sizable force here that I'm going to go attack this rebel city. Try to conquer more land for my Portugal people. But land clearance... Mm, I don't know what to build. A brothel would be great because spies are very important in this um, hot seat campaign. Spies can win you, win you this hot seat. Because having spies, you're always like one step ahead of the enemy. So let's go ahead and build dirt, dirt roads. Mine's only 120 per turn. That's not that great. Uh, definitely could use a port here. I'll definitely build that next. Garrison quarters. Mm. For now, we'll do that. And then over here, I might build mines here. That will definitely help my uh, economy out. Mm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go for the brothel because I really want a lot of spies at first. And then I'll go for... A market to help out my economy right now. I don't really want to worry about military. What I have now is fine I'm gonna combine these fleets yeah, Let's just go ahead and do that now and Let's go ahead and siege this uh, Maintain siege. Let's recruit some mercenaries to help out in this siege and Then we're gonna have to build some siege equipment to help us out Can we build that no two turns? Okay, so <laughs> there's really not much to do because I only have two cities. But, oh, I actually start with a spy. I should uh, really get him going, like, over here. I'm not too worried about Spain. Oh, actually. Oh, he's moving a diplomat over here. He is moving a diplomat. I think Captain Invisible, he wants to trade with me, but I denied him. I am not going to trade with them. Their Islamic ways, trying to convert my people. I'm going to... Work with my brother here, Spain, and fight Moors. France, uh, I think I'm just going to trade with them, kind of be neutral with them. Just They're really far away, so they're not a problem right now. But, I mean, let's go ahead and get my priest over here, just so I can get an idea of what's going on. Um, let's go ahead and build, I guess I'll build a watchtower, just in case... Uh, Oh no, I can't get them back inside. Oh well, not a big deal. I'm trying to find rebel f forts here. 
I know there's not one over here. I'm taking this one. I think there's one up north. Or maybe not. I'm not sure. Oh well. At least I'll have this one. And it doesn't look like moors will be nearby. <laughs> Hopefully they won't be nearby. Can I build? No, I can't build a watchtower. Um, so, this army is looking pretty good. I got peasant crossbowmen, spear militia, and some mailed knights. Which are definitely a good unit. I might recruit some... You know what? I'm going to recruit a pretty mean fleet here. And uh, they will help me deal with uh, blockading this, this walkway. If that could help out, you never know in the in the long run. If I can really uh, stop the traffic of the Moors people. Let's go ahead and turn auto build off. And I think that's it for this episode. I know, guys, it's really short, but I promise you this hot seat will pick up very quickly. I'm sure in the next turn I will attack this rebel large town and I will increase my economy. Let's check out my economy right now. Mm. Let's see, I'm going to have 3,694 gold the next turn. I'm losing a lot of money, but that's because I'm building a lot of buildings and, and such. And also the mercenaries cost a lot of money, but they'll be worth it. And see, I don't really know what to talk about. I, I've done everything I can in this turn. I'm again brothel. You need them from spies. You even you even need to watch your allies. You never know. I have a princess going over to Spain, and I'm just not sure where the armies of the Moorish people. Where is his armies? Because I don't want him to attack me. I I don't think he'll be nearby. So I think I'll be good here. See, like. How this game works, well actually let's get my merchant over here, 21 florins, that's not good, let's see if there's anything better, actually there's nothing, what's this, 18 florins, let's go over here, go over here my good sir, very nice, there we go, and what was I saying, oh crap, I totally forgot, oh, it's good to be the first one to attack because you get to fight the AI, basically when we fight, it's the first person to attack. So you have to be very uh, quick on your attacks. And that's why having very mobile armies is very important. Because you can travel very far either when you need to retreat or attack. But I'm going to end my turn right here. I hope you enjoyed this one guys. I know not a lot's going on. But it will get better. And trust me I will take down the Moors if it's the last thing I do. And I'll keep an eye out for Spain. Because they are right next to me. You never know. You never know. So... Thanks for watching, guys. Let me go ahead and end my turn. Oh, we go. Spain is up next. I'll see you guys on turn two.